Hi guys, welcome back to my latest video on Virtual Pool 4. It is horrible outside. Um, I haven't been able to go to work this week. Um, thankfully I'm in a job that doesn't really matter. There is about, I would estimate, I'm just having a look out the window here just to check. There's about seven or eight inches of snow. Um, probably closer to 10 in areas that I didn't clean yesterday. So we're getting another uh, ton of snow tomorrow. So I thought, you know what? I'm going to do a black ball video. Um, now, I haven't practiced this game. And anyone who's any good at this game will know that if you, you've got to practice it or you lose it. Um, I'm going to re break. Get the balls moving a bit, guys. Now, you're looking for, in this game, it's one of my favourite games, you're looking for the best run-out opportunity. Well, for me, it's almost certainly going to be... Um, now, let's just, let's just dissect this rack, shall we? Let's just play here. This ball here, the idea would be for me that you'd be running through and taking on that ball there. So that's kind of the first thing that I'm noting about this clearance. Also, I could fall top spin. Um, so the, the way I'm thinking is how do I then get onto onto this guy? Okay. So I'm thinking from this ball, we can screw back over here and get on this guy to take on this guy. So really, I want to get rid of this ball to get onto this one. Once I pop this one, it's quite easy to then screw down here take on this guy, screw off this guy, and pop the black in here. I hope that makes sense to you. Um, just wanna try. Now obviously when you make a mess of it like that, you've gotta then change your mind. Um, but really, I can't pop that one. So that was a good idea to begin with, but now we're gonna to have to pop this yellow and try and land on this ball. Yep, so I've done that now. So nothing much has changed. The general principle of the clearance is still there. Just got to try and play centre ball hit. Now that's a better shot. Again, I've overran it and pretty much landed where I was before. Um, so at this point, I'm looking, thinking, well, the black still goes. If I take a look here, the black still goes in there. So I can play a shot here where I use the reds as like a leverage. Um, pot the yellow if it reaches which I think it will Ooh, just and then here's the only shot that I've really got to sort of get on the yellow carefully and I'm just going to hit this really hard and try and try and screw through it which I think I've just done and here obviously we will be coming oh now that is close <laughs> for a little bit of right hand spin on I think that's just about all right Play it slowly to let it drop, and we've let it drop, and then we get the easy black ball. There you go, guys. That's how you clear up. So it's about understanding the route. Make sure your cue's straight. Oh, that's a good sound. Oh, snow start again, man. So again, we're just looking at the route. Um, I'm probably thinking that yellows are, are the best balls here because if you can get, um, obviously, let's just use this. We'd use this ball to, to probably hit the black and then roll this in. So those are our last balls. We can use that ball to get onto it. Really, the, the problem ball is this bottom one, and that's going to be the ball that could really go wrong. So what I'm probably going to do here is note I've got the yellow in the middle, this guy, into this pocket. I can afford to get the white down here to try and land on this to roll into there. I hope that makes sense. So we've got a little bit of an angle here that we can begin to work with. Well, that's not bad. The only problem is now that we're having to, it's all about getting on this ball now. So we're going to roll this ball in. And we're looking for an angle off a ball here. And the problem we've got now is the, the 
difficulty here is is huge now we're still going to go for it because that's just what we're doing now that was a lucky hit it might be enough it is but if we managed to stay on the table there we could have maybe got back for this one of these balls my local shop sells 24 of these for four quid just a little ones i've got two packs just keep us going for a bit um the benefit of taking the yellows as well was that we probably get another shot simply because well, I say probably, we might not. Now here what I want to do is to make my clearance easier. I'm going to bank on the fact that he can't clear up. Um, and I'm opening up my ball. Now here I'm, I'm obviously taking a risk because he could, could get the blackout. Now here if I was the red player... It hasn't got, I would just be looking to screw back into that yellow. That's not a bad effort. It's probably going to go in off. But that was, a, that was a good effort. Now here I'm going to take... I'm not sure if this is a foul. I hope not. Oh, excuse me. You have a free shot. Great. Maybe there's a better argument there for opening up the, the black ball, possibly. Uh oh. Oh no. Oh no. Now here we're just trying to block the potting angle. That's it. <laughs> Full real snooker. So this is like difficult. So we've got a free shot here. Now what I'm going to do with this shot, I'm going to hit the black into the cushion uh, in bulk. I'm going to try and pot the yellow, but I'm going to open the black up. Now, that wasn't great because I, now I've got a tough shot. I don't want to blow this. Got it. Got it. So I hope you kind of see the kind of thought process that I've got in terms of how I'm dissecting these racks. And this is how I play pool in real life um, all the time. And it's, it's good fun. It's good fun. Now here I'm just looking for plants. Um, don't really have one. Now here I'm going to take a chance. Try and break this pack open. Oh, and I've got one of each. Now reds are easier, but I've got this awkward plant and I don't think I can get any other ones I've got it this has to go in otherwise I'm not on it just need to try and work so now we've just got to work out our route so essentially here it's fairly straightforward I think just yeah really just get the bottom three uh, the middle one the top one and roll off for the black in the corner the opposite corner what I'm facing so it's really just a, a case of seeing which balls are easiest to pot um, here I might nudge the black, maybe, just to I can hold for this red. Now what I've done is unfortunately made my life a lot harder. Yeah, so I'm going to have to try and touch these now. This, is, this isn't what I planned at all. And this is going completely wrong now. That red doesn't go in the middle, or does it? Let's have a look. Let's just have a quick look. No, I don't think that goes. So I've made a real pig's ear of this. Um, not just got to try and get down the bottom end of the table. Um, it's all gone. <laughs> it's all gone wrong now. Uh, oh dear. You can't get everything right though. Now what I've done there is banked on the fact that I don't think it can clear up. This is clearly a terrible shot if you're playing against a decent pro player. Because if they pull a shot like that off and he's just nudged that yellow, which makes it even harder. But now that he's on it, well he hasn't took it, which is interesting. And has missed rather wildly, uh, which has given me a chance just to play a little stun. It's just judgment. 
into the top corner. I haven't hit it hard enough, maybe. Yeah, just, just misjudged that a bit. He's really got the same problem. And now it's just a case of just playing a little bit of screw shot. Just don't go in off. Leave the white kind of anywhere in the middle of the table. You've got a fairly easy shot into the corner. Um, and I say that I shouldn't miss it then. Otherwise I look a bit silly. And here I just... Oh, and the white's gone. You always get a good split, but you do use the white. That's a bit unfortunate. And he's choosing to re-break. And that looks like it's a dry break. But with a good white. So, um, I don't actually think I've got a shot here. I think I can get the yellow in by playing a, like a lot of top spin, basically hitting the cushion here, hitting this red and then knocking this yellow in. Now obviously if I could, I would much prefer not to pot that yellow, pot another yellow and begin the run out, but I don't think I can even spin this in with a little, don't think I can do that. So I think I'm forced to try this sort of tricky shot here. Just try and try and raise the butt even just a little bit to get a right. So we we've got that one. Well, in fact, I got I got one of each, so I still get the choice. Um, but I got what I was after. So here, I think just take this ball off the table. Um, and roll down for the, come back out for the. For the ball down the cushion to get the one at the bottom there near the, the bottom cush. Probably do with just taking this ball off while I'm here. Just gets me a bit closer to that ball as well. And then roll through the ball after this one. For the, into this uh, middle bag. So te the, that what I'm thinking here is to roll this in. And then roll him into there. Bring the white to here. Roll this in. Black into there. That's sort of the obvious run out. And that's the way that we took those balls makes it easy uh, or easier should I say to achieve that aim just got to run through now here I'm a little bit out of position I've run through just a bit too much so I'm going to be hitting this a little bit harder and looking to nick off the the red to bring it out just got to that's what I was hoping so I can't just roll in so here just a little bit of bottom um, let the white travel back to the middle of the table Hope it doesn't go in off. It's actually alright. And then I get my easy black into the middle.